The embedded industry over the last 30 years really hasn't changed. We have embedded programmable devices like FPGAs and PLDs. We've had mixed signal ASICs and we've had embedded processors like microcontrollers. The engineer has to work to be an expert in those three fields. But with PSOC, we strive to build a product that takes the best of those three industries, put it in one chip, and allow an engineer to be a hero or an expert in all three. PSOC 1 has features above and beyond the nominal microcontroller it's supposed to be. It, it's not only the controller, but also analog, programmable, and digital programmable, and a switching matrix that allows you to put any internal node to any external pin. If you want to think of it as a microcontroller, a microcontroller with many, many more degrees of freedom, we think of it as a system on chip. Cypress has a long history with PSOC. Um, it's a phenomenal platform that the industry has used to solve all kinds of new and differentiating problems over the last decade. With PSOC 4, we now move into the next stage of PSOC where we can put out a wide variety of PSOC products to solve many different application scenarios with the same flexibility that has come with PSOC. So the big challenge on PSOC 4 was to take the flexibility that we had in PSOC 1 with the high-end analog that we have in PSOC 3 and 5 and merge them into having the flexibility but yet still maintain the high analog uh, capabilities. The ability to use PSOC 4 and be able to move the blocks that we made inside the analog to repurpose them real time is the most difficult thing we came across and the most powerful thing that PSOC 4 has. PSOC 4 targets a lot of different applications because it's a general purpose hardware platform. But specifically, it's designed to go into touch sensing and UI applications in home appliances like cooktops, uh, refrigerators, dishwashers, doing all the CapSense buttons and intelligence you need along with sensors to run modern day appliances to have really slick UIs and save energy. The PSOC 4 Pioneer Kit is a great new kit for the 4200 family. And the best thing about the kit is that it plugs into the Arduino ecosystem. So literally, as soon as you get it, there's tons of adapter boards that have been built by the community out there that'll plug right into that kit and you can begin your developing. Another great thing about the product is that it's all powered by PSOC Creator. And PSOC Creator has literally hundreds of components little IP blocks that you can drag into the part in order to build your particular PSOC solution. And that really enables limitless possibilities. PSOC Creator lets you design the way you think. It lets you implement custom hardware in both digital and analog, as well as all your firmware into one embedded product. Creator lets you build what you want. In today's market, scalability is everything. Our customers need to know that they have the right products at the right price at the right time. The Cortex-M0 market today is replacing a lot of 8 and 16-bit products. It's a very popular core, and PSOC 4 takes that Cortex-M0 familiarity and gives you the ultimate level of flexibility. You can design the way you think. You get infinite reconfigurable options, you get dynamic ability to change those options, and you can build a true Cortex-M0 based product that you've always wanted. You don't have to be an analog expert to be really good at analog design with PSOC. You don't have to be a digital expert, but you are with a PSOC. You don't have to be an embedded firmware expert, but you are with PSOC. All three technologies will make it very, very easy to use so you can solve problems in a way that's most efficient for you, the engineer. PSOC 4 is really the culmination of what we've learned so far on PSOC. We have the flexibility that we initially had in analog, and then the high-end capability, those have come together and merged in PSOC 4 for the first time. We've maintained the digital programmability that we had in PSOC 3 and 5, and now we've all merged that into one standard platform, and then on top of that we have a very standard MCU with the Cortex-M0. All those together make the most powerful thing that Cypress has ever made, and as powerful as PSOC has ever been.